Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be taking a look at how to carry out conversion of units. All right, so the question reads, it takes Tim 4.5 hours to run 50 kilometers. Which expression will allow him to change this rate to minutes per mile? Okay, so um, we're taking a look at hours per kilometers and we're changing that. So we're going from hours to kilometer hours per kilometers and we're changing it to minutes per mile okay all right so something to keep in mind when carrying out unit conversions is as follows so something to know all right for this particular problem if you want to convert so to convert um, hours per kilometer Uh, into the desired units, which is minutes minutes per mile. What's going to happen is that the units left after uh, cancellation or reduction, however you want to call it, should be Uh, miles uh, minutes per mile okay minutes per mile so we have four options here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna carry out the cancellation of units all right numerator with the denominator and then examine what units are left okay all right so let's take a look at the first one we're starting with hours per kilometer okay hours per kilometer the goal is to convert it into minutes per mile so you have these conversion factors here let's see if that's the correct one all right so we're just focusing on the units for now so you have a kilometer here that takes that out and then you have hour here that takes that out okay <clears throat> what are you left with you're left with minutes in the numerator and miles in the denominator. So for option number one, the uh, resulting unit is, let's put it on the side, the resulting unit is minutes per mile. That's exactly what we want, okay? So the answer to this question is option one. Now let's take a look at the others just to illustrate uh, how this whole process works clearly. Take a look at option two, okay? We're starting out uh, incorrectly. If you examine this, examine it, because this is kilometers per hour. It's even wrong off the bat. So there's no way we're gonna get the correct conversion, but let's just reduce anyway. So kilometers here cancels out kilometers. And then uh, what else cancels out? Hours on the bottom, there's no hours on the top, miles per minute on the miles and minute on the top. So no other cancellation can happen. Alright? So for option two, the units, the resulting unit here will be mile minutes per hour square. That's, that doesn't make any sense. Mile minutes per hour square. That's not what we want. What we want is minutes per miles. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at question, option three. Uh, kilometers per hour. That's already wrong. We're looking at miles per, we're looking at hours per kilometer. So let's just cancel out and see what happens. Okay. So kilometers cancel out. Hours cancel out. And what do we have here? We have miles per minute. This is a reciprocal of what we're looking for. This is miles per minute. The question asks for minutes per mile, not miles per minute. All right, so we can clearly see that um, these two are wrong. And let's take a look at the last one. Hours per kilometer, starting out well. Let's see what happens. Hours, an hour cancel out, bam, bam, good. And that's it. No other cancellation happens. You have a mile on the top, no miles on the bottom. Minute on the top, no minute on the bottom. Kilometers on the bottom, no kilometers on the top. So the unit for option four 
is mile minutes, mile minutes per kilometer square. That makes absolutely no sense. All right. So we can clearly see that the answer is option number one. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Don't forget to help support our channel. Tons of support resources can be found on mathcutserve.com to check it out. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.